all right, for a few terms that we should know. Multiplicity is actually brought up here in example three, part B, where we have two roots or two zeros that are the same. We have negative two mentioned twice. And you can see uh, one way we could represent that would be to write that in factored form as x plus two, x plus two, or x plus two squared. The definition for multiplicity says that multiplicity is the number of times a zero appears in the solution. For example, we have x cubed plus 2x squared minus 7x plus 4, which would look like this in factored form. The roots then, the opposite of this x minus 1, so that would make a root or a zero of 1, and then a root of negative 4 or a zero of negative 4. Now since you see this squared here, that indicates that the one occurs twice. So we could say the root or zero one has a multiplicity of two. The next two terms are displayed in the graph to the right. Relative minimum is actually just the lowest point on the graph in a particular region. So as you can see, this graph continues to go down infinitely, but in this particular region, the lowest point happens to land here around negative, uh, between negative four and negative six. Relative maximum is then similarly the maximum point in a particular region. Our maximum is infinity, but in this region the maximum is around three or two. Example four, identifying a relative maximum and minimum. So to do this, we're actually gonna use the graphing calculator again. And you can clear out whatever is in there for y equals. Go to y equals and then enter in x cubed plus 3x squared minus 24x and hit graph. My window is from negative 10 to 10. It looks like I'm not quite including the whole graph, so this is where you hit the window. Actually, my y is negative 40 to 40 right now, but I'm going to go ahead and make that a little bit higher and lower, so I'm going to go from, uh, let's go to negative 60 to positive 60, and we'll keep the scale going up by 10s. And we're almost there, but not quite, so let's try 100. You have to wait till it finishes graphing to change the window, so we'll change the window here. And go from negative 100 to 100. And make the scale 20. That just makes it less, um, less markings on that y-axis. Makes it a little easier to look at. And now you can see the relative maximum here and the relative minimum here. We actually have a nice uh, option here, a nice feature, the calc button, the calculate. It means, so you have to press second and then the trace key will get you to calculate and you can click on maximum. And that's gonna help us get as close as possible to the actual maximum value there. So left bound is where you wanna go just to the left of where you think the maximum is, and then the right bound is just to the right of where you think the maximum is, and then you wanna go somewhere in between the two and hit enter, and you'll see there is your maximum value. It says negative 3.9998 and y equals 80. So for our graph x cubed plus 3x squared minus 24x, it looks like our relative max is at y equals 80. And we can actually write that as a, an ordered pair. So for our relative max, we're going to say uh, round that to a negative 4 and 80. And then we'll do similarly the second calc key and go to our minimum. Scroll over to where you think you're just to the left. Again, this is left bound. Hit enter, go to the right, hit enter, and go in the middle and hit enter. And we'll get an estimate. It looks like it's really close to two and negative 28. So we're gonna write our relative min is 2, 
negative 28.